Dear viewer, maximum exposure goes around the world. Stay on your couch and watch Max X at all times. Don't bother to travel the world because you could get the runs. It's super expensive. We're bringing it to you anyway. Them Thai girls sure have a way with big mean Crocs. Find out what happens when you wear a Speedo in Russia. When Taiwan babes mess up, they get all messed up. Russia holds new elections for president. Whoever downs the most vodka wins. It's an Italian game show. That can only mean amateur stripping. And the Japanese show us what it's like to suck down 20 feet of raw fish. Max X goes to China and meets the perfect woman. And find out why English wine sucks. And finally, the revealing premiere of Max X News. The world's a nice place to visit, but ah, forget about it. It's better to watch the International Edition. Whoa, for First stop, Thailand. Don't bother going. This is our second favorite live show in Thailand. For legal reasons, we can't show you our first favorite. It's the Sri Raka Tiger Zoo outside of Bangkok. We got Crocs in the house. Now it's showtime with the ladies. In Thailand, it used to be that only men could work with crocodiles. But these babes love big Crocs. They work some of that mojo on them. They make the beast with two backs. Now she's got that croc cocked, locked, and ready to rock. For more legal reasons, we can't make any head jokes. She stays in there for 15 seconds. He's been a good boy, so she slips him a little something-something. She puts a little more oomph into it. There you go. Saved you that trip. You also don't need to go to Taiwan, because Max Axe has been there. Code Red is a very popular show in Taiwan. It's easy to see why it's a very good show. To win a valuable prize, a nubile young woman has to sling through the strings. If she touches one of them, she sets off the alarm. And for that, she must die. No, not really. She only has to go into the red terror box. They dump ink all over her, then spray her with steam. Next contestant. Hey, what's up with the socks? Well, she's doing fine. Good, 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 good. Oh, her bum kisses a string. She gets nailed with tomato juice. This one gets doused with milk. It's a fine, fine game show. And Max X has just saved you a trip to Taiwan. Max X takes to Mother Russia. And we save you the hotel and airfare and the lousy food. Here's a Max X well known fact Russians love vodka. They got themselves a drinking contest. Dudniks are judged on A. Technique, B. Artistic style, and C. How much vodka they can slam back in one gulp. The judges are doctors, traffic cops, and a detox worker. The judges indicate the scores with little vodka bottles. They don't want to be doing shots on an empty stomach, so they get some snacks to help them absorb the booze. Russian snacks. But beets ain't exactly beer nuts. The vodka goes down like water. This 
big old gal is the early favorite. She can drink guys under the table. They do a drunk driving test. This dude looks sober enough to drive a cab or a MIG. Whoever holds their hands the steadiest wins. Unfortunately, they couldn't figure out who won because the judges started in on the vodka, too. We told you not to go to Russia. If you did, you might end up doing this. We're not talking about wearing a Speedo. This guy's on a show called Beat That, or Slabo in Russia. He's not a professional stuntman, just a crazy Russian dude. He ain't wearing no protective clothing. Hell, he's barely wearing that sweet Speedo. He's covered in gasoline. Flame on! Oh, nice belly flop. Hey, how'd he set the water on fire? Oh, the lake's covered with gasoline, too. He gets only minor burns. Unfortunately, his sweet Speedo is burnt to a crisp. Whatever you do, don't go to Japan. Because this is the number one show. It's a game show. And it's really stupid TV. That's why we like it. You're at a bowling alley, but it ain't about bowling. It's about eating. They gotta eat a sushi roll. It's 20 feet long. The chef makes that one out of what looks like tuna. And we don't even know what that is. But somebody's gotta eat it. Rules are simple. Whoever eats it first wins. Start munching. Oh, and they have to keep one hand on the roll at all times. The dude just started, and he looks like he's already hurting. Slow and steady wins the sushi race. Close up. This is disgusting. We almost forgot the wasabi zone. About a foot long. It's rice, seaweed, and super hot green stuff. The host is way into the wasabi zone. The wasabi's making this guy sweat. She's praying at the sushi roll altar. It's a close race. They're down to the wire. They try not to hurl. He goes for the quick chop. He's shoving it in. The dude's got a big lead, but she rallies. Down the home stretch they come. She goes for it. It's going to be close. She's losing valuable chow time adjusting her glasses. He's got that eater's high that occurs around a foot. His eyes are glassy. Nothing else matters but the next bite. Don't lose it all now. You've come so far. She decided to shove. Is it too soon to shove? Will she have the stamina to keep shoving to the end? So many questions. Oh my God, this is close. In a final panic, she stuffs the whole wad in her mouth, declaring herself a winner. But is she? He seems to be swallowing. Her mouth is still full. But it's inside. Well, sort of. What will the judges hold? And will she hold it? We gotta go to the tape. It's a photo finish. Neither of them look too happy. Maybe they're just concentrating on keeping the sushi down. Ty's like kissing your sister, which is better than kissing her. Sushi breath. So stick to fish sticks and don't go to Japan. You're rocking the world with Max Axe. Coming up, revenge is sweet when it smells like cow manure. In El Salvador, teen smoking has really gotten out of hand. The worst driver in the world lives in Wales. Newsflash! Brits are just plain weird. Cops in Thailand begin spring training. Oil some for all you cat lovers out there. If you want to see more freaky foreign stuff, stick around for our Max X list. Max X. We award frequent watching miles. A 
XX Traveler's Advisory. Whatever you do, don't go to Wales. Because if this woman's on the rug, you could be roadkill. Her name's Maureen Reese. She's taken her driving test seven times. Get in the car, please. Flunked it every time. 80% of my income goes on for my lesson, because I'm not determined. You must be dying for her to pass, Dave. Yes. Maureen and her husband, Dave, start out on a little road trip. What's that car? You missed it. Turns out there. Can't you feel the love between the two of them? Right. Right. Left. In the finish. No, it was a car coming. I can see, dear. Whoops, oh. the car stalls out. It's all right, I told you, don't panic. Start the car up again. No, you shouldn't come up again. Now it's time for some high anxiety on the highway. Keep up the curb. I told you to slow down, honey. Ow! Ow! For f sake! What's the matter with you? Bloody what did you do that for? I can't was, over there. The car was up your ass. I could have been off. Hey, let's see that again. I told you to slow down, no, no. right now. Ow! Oh, for sake! What's the matter with you? Bloody what did you do that for? I can't was, over there! The car was up your ass! I could have been off! No! What did you do that for? I can't have been off! Right, no pass! No pass! I could have been off in the first place, you silly no. son! Dave knows driving, because he's a bus driver. And how does he feel about Maureen's road trip? Horrified, because I thought I was going to die. Well, both of us. If I hadn't have grabbed the wheel when I did, we both would have been dead. Ow! Oh! Whoa! Oh, for f***'s sake! What's the matter with you? That's for I can't have been over there! The car was up your ass. I could have been off in the first place, you silly no. Eventually, Maureen takes the driving test again and passes. If you do go to Wales, be on the lookout for Maureen Reese. She's armed with a car and extremely dangerous. I could have been off in the first place, you silly no. Oh, yeah. England. Sure, it's got beautiful old buildings. But it's also got crabby old farmers like this dude, David Cannon. He claims the bank lost him hundreds of thousands of pounds or something. So he takes his tractor and his mud spreader and goes to work. But that ain't mud. It's soft, fresh, and moist cow manure. And he lets it fly. And I just drove up and set it up and put it in gear and just let them have it until it was gone. Perfect. <laughs> now that's a Max X kind of guy. And that's a great way to get on our show. His longtime pal, John Addison, saw the whole crap shoot. Well, when I saw him on the, on the muck spreader there in the center of, the, of Newcastle, I mean, it, it was quite funny, really. The mud spreader shoots out all its manure in less than 10 minutes. Cleanup took two weeks. The dude rocks, and he's done it before, on a government office over a planting bath. You naturally get a few butterflies, <laughs> you know. I mean, it's not a thing that's done every day. But uh, you're just determined to prove your point. Cannon gets hauled in and charged 3,000 bucks for cleaning up the mess. But he's cool with it. Regrets? None at all. As I see it, I've said it before, if I was a millionaire, I would do it every week. As long as I could keep out of jail. <laughs> so don't go to England, because you might get this crank ticked off. But maybe he could come to America. Here's a Max X approved list of manure spreading targets. Hey, you need a good reason not to go to Spain? Well, here it is. English guys do game shows there. This one's called Prickly Heat. In this game, they stuff grapes down their pants, crush them on a chair, and collect the juice. Whoever makes the most juice wins. The losers have to drink it. These are the whitest people I've ever seen. These guys take a different angle. Man, we knew the English were kinky, but come on. Uh, this is a little more like it. A little more interesting, a little more pleasing to the eye. Oh, yeah, baby, squash those grapes. 
Thank you. I have. To. Now they pour the juice into a bowl and measure it. Those buggers win. And this poor dude is forced to drink it. Yeah. The show isn't completely horrible. At least you get to check out some English assets. But that ain't enough reason to go to Spain, because this place is crawling with limeys. Max X takes on the world. Next, kicking butt in China, it's a woman thing. In Thailand, take me out to the ball game means crack some heads. We take you to Poland for a friendly hello and a how do you do. The Chinese run out of criminals to execute. They're forced to turn to fish. And a hot Russian babe takes it off. We ain't kidding. If you want to see more worldwide weirdness, watch our Max X list. Max X stands for maximum effort. Our 80% is another show's 100%. The Max X Tour continues. Don't go to China. Known for its mushu pork and its vicious lady cops. You screw up in China, they might Jackie Chan ya. They're training to get into a special police unit called Wu Jing. So they can beat up people legally. Mmm, we like. This ain't no blow-dried Charlie's Angels fake kung fu crap. This is the real deal. They can take a punch and dish it out. And the Laker girls ain't got nothing on them. Afterwards, they're wiped out physically and emotionally. Chicks, they're weepers. All right, all right, the dudes cry too. They make the cut. They're in with the Wuxing clan now. Don't go to China, because you might meet up with some of those kung fu babes. Yeah, we told you all about Thailand. Here's another reason not to go. They got some strange ideas about team sports. This is Thai baseball. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The dudes are joyriding their motorcycles in the town of Sunkla. They've been running over innocent people. So the cops come up with a way to make them stop. Knock him out of the park. Sometimes they hit a home run. The bat crackdown works. The joy riding stops. It's safe to go to Thailand now. Yeah, but don't bother. Poland, a nice place to visit. Well, maybe not. Don't go there. This here's the official Polish greeting. From an official Polish hooker. Cops are out in their nightly rounds. They like to keep taping the working girls, but they gotta go fight crime. Store window. Broken. Yep, it's a crime scene. They don't have to go far to find the perps. A lady walking the streets and her friend. Let's call in John. Hmm, bloody hand? Stashing candy bars? We're guessing she's the one who did the B&E. Even Polish cops can figure that out. Oh, and she's got some toothpaste to brush that bad taste out of her mouth. Gee, Polish women are sure friendly. They fix up her finger, then book them both. Max X travel tip. Don't go to Poland. Don't pick up any Polish hookers. And don't break into a candy store. Yeah. You're fired up with maximum exposure. Next, water buffaloes hate Thailand dudes. Who knew? Hey, would you like ketchup with that? Hey, would you like beetles with that? Hey, would you like nipples with that? If that's not titillating enough for you, stay tuned for our Max X list. Max X. We'll show you ours if you show us yours. with Max X. If you'd ever go to Italy, you'd see this game show. We'll save you the trouble and show you the best parts. It's lovely Katya's turn to answer the question. We don't speak Italian, but we bet it ain't too tough. 50? No, Katya, absolutely. Mi dispiace. 
Oh, she answered wrong. Does she lose a turn? No. Does she get booted off the show? No. She has to dance. This is a very good show. An excellent show. A fine TV program. She almost makes us forget the bad European dancers behind her. Sex knows women, and we're guessing she's done this before. Probably many years of training, and it really shows. We love her, or we hate the music. Oh yeah, this is a quality show. Yeah. HBO might get away with it, but we can't. Time to slip into something more comfortable. Once again, MaxX brings you quality programming and saves you that expensive trip to Italy. Bravissima la nostra Cassia. And now, a public service announcement from MaxX. There are so many cats in the world. Don't let your pants run around without protection. Have them spayed or neutered. Or both, or whatever. Because unless you're that weird lady who wears the house coat, you can have too many cats. This has been another helpful public service announcement from Max Axe. Oh, and by the way, this is another example of super excellent Italian TV. Meow. Hey, trust us. You don't want to go to El Salvador. Unless you like playing with fire. This is Nehapa. It ain't no riot, it's a celebration. It honors the patron saint of their town, San Geronimo, who did something to a volcano or, I don't know, whatever. They roll up clothes into balls, pour lighter fluid on them, and wing them at each other. They don't get burned because they wear heavy clothes and paint their faces with fire repellent. That's what you do for kicks in El Salvador. So, just don't bother going. Now, if you're stupid enough to ignore our advice and go to Thailand, don't go to the water buffalo races. They have them in every town, every day. When one of these babies gets loose, it aims for a target. Bullseye! That's one time you don't want a ringside seat. Hey, let's enjoy it again. The rider loses control of his buffalo and falls off. First, the buffalo takes out a guy in an orange shirt. Dude, Thai buffaloes hate orange. Then he skewers a woman and flips her. He tosses someone else into the air. We can't tell if it's a man or a woman, but we can tell it hurts. Look closer. This dude's carrying his kid. They come real close to buying it. The water buffalo eventually gets taken down with tranquilizers. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Not where they impale dudes with their horns. Some place like the good old U.S. of A. Spain? Forget about it. Because this is lunch in Spain. It's an annual tradition. La Fiesta de la Tomatina. But we don't speak Spanish, but we think it means something about tomatoes. They haul in 130 tons of tomatoes. That's enough to make uh, 130 tons of squash tomatoes. People put stuff up to protect their homes. Fair fight with 20,000 people. Well, give or take a few who can't take the heat and want out of the kitchen. Max X back. Tomatoes are technically not vegetables, they're fruits. Either way, they make good throwing. The crowd tosses about 924,000 of them. They collect all the liquid that's created and use it to make soup, ketchup, and juice. Then they probably feed it to their babies. So don't go to Spain and definitely don't eat their ketchup. Max X, 
It ain't over till it's over. Next. Waiter, I asked for tortellini, not turtellini. Find out what happens when your dinner bites back. Will she take it all off? Oh, yeah. Stick around. She ain't no Barbara Walters. And if you're still not convinced that foreigners are strange, see our Max X list. Max X, the black sheep of television. Maximum exposure heads back to Russia. Remember, don't go there. We told you that Russians are weird, but they give great news. Svetlana is a news anchor in Moscow. Trust us, you want to stick around for this. Because she's going to take off her clothes one story at a time. It's Max X News. Now, we don't speak Russian, but we think she's saying, you don't want to go to Thailand because they make you eat bugs. Thai's got a taste for all kinds of bugs, like scorpions. Give it a spritz of special sauce, and you're ready for some good eating. You can have grasshoppers. Yummy. The larva of a silkworm. Mmm, tasty. Crickets, anyone? Water beetles? How about a big old field beetle? This here's correct field beetle eating etiquette. Remove wings. White tail. And crunch beetle body. Another place they could use a McDonald's is Australia. Are you hungry for some grub? How about some grubs? They're called witchetty grubs. Brush them off. Pull off the head. And you got new grubbos. Mighty fine eating. We hear they taste like scrambled eggs. And you can eat it. You can Still eat hungry? It. Head to the outback and have yourself a green ant. Kids love them. Lemon. Or worse. Sex advice. Stay home and stick to pork rinds. He's back with Max X News. We promised you she'd strip, and Max X keeps its promises. Now we think she's saying, we're going back to China, where they believe in capital punishment for fish. First, the chef takes a fish and hacks off its face. Then he splits it open and hooks it up to some wires. Wraps him around his arm. Sticks the wires into the fish. Flips the switch. And the fish gets zapped with 220 volts. He says some chef mojo over the burning fish. Here's what we think he's saying. Ain't no last-minute governor's reprieve for this fish. And best of all, it's fat-free. Svetlana's in the house ski. Max X News continues. We're not sure why she needs help taking off her blouse. Maybe it's a Russian Union thing. Now, we're guessing she's saying, Max X is taking it to the Amazon, where they got more weird ideas about eating. This is Nick Payne, our Max X culinary archaeologist and host of Nick Payne's Exotic Kitchen. We're going to take this boat approximately two and a half days upriver. I'll show you some cooking techniques and a lot of other things that you might not have seen on television before. He runs into man-eating fish. This is the feared piranha. Deadly snakes. I was within about 10 inches from stepping on the back of this snake, and had I done so, I would have been dead within 24 hours. And cannibals. Cannibals? The boar were feared. They were cannibals. They were unmanageable. They were dangerous. An apparent delicacy here in the jungle are these huge water rats. This today seemed to be our only form of meat. Mmm, rat. Grubs. And turtle feet with spaghetti. In my head, I try not to think what they used to be. This, I thought and was told, was deer meat. Although I was busy filming, I didn't have time to realize that it wasn't a deer at all. It was a sloth. We'd bet it was pretty easy to catch. I didn't get a whole hell of a lot of sleep. Good idea, Nick. 
because you were hanging out with cannibals. Not that you were thinking of going to the Amazon, but you sure don't have to now. Gentlemen, don't forget to tip the lady. Max X News, stripped down news that you can use. We're taking a break right now while we're setting up the next story. Okay, now we're thinking she's saying Max X gave you the 411 on China. Well, here's another reason not to go. Dinner is served in Qian, China. There's scorpions and they're moving. This special dish is called live scorpion on the pagoda. Scorpions crawling on a carved melon. First, you gotta bite off the poison stinger. Dip it in a little sweet sauce. It slows down the scorpion's reflexes and makes it tastier too. The Chinese like their scorpion banquets. The scorpions, not so much. The Chinese believe eating the poison is good for your health. Eh, no thanks. We'll stick to egg rolls. And now we're on to the Max X weather report. And for some reason, this weather report gets very high ratings in Russia. Maybe it's the outstanding graphics. This Russian meteorologist obviously had to study for years to get where she is today. Of course, she ain't no Willard Scott. Yeah, but we're pretty happy about that. She has her own unique way of pointing to the map. Wow, look at that. That is nippy. Minus 14 degrees in Minsk. How do the Russians cope? They have to stay abreast of the weather and keep warm. Max X News and Weather do the trick. And now we'll go to a really exotic place. India. Pushkar, India. They got camels. And camels make dung. Dung comes in handy. The women collect it. And they use it for all kind of things. Like fuel. And bacon bread. The bread's called bati. And you can make it at home. Just take wheat flour, water, and some salt. Mix it up and roll it into a ball. Cook it on top of the burning dung. Then stick it inside the fire like an oven. And now you got yourself some tasty dung bread. What do you wash it down with? We ain't gonna give you the recipe for their lemonade. And now a little more Russian weather. That's a whole bunch of countries you don't want to go to. Max X, the show that goes round the world. What have we learned from our Nudski Ruskis? Thailand, Australia, China, Brazil, India. Don't go there. Maximum exposure. We put the X in xenophobia. For more dissonant foreigners, you gotta check out our Max X list. It's the weirdest of the weird. The places you definitely don't want to go. Our Max X list. Number three, back to Japan. Man, those dudes are weird. This here is one of their top game shows. The object of this game? Let's see you sweat. Round one, the contestant dudes try aerobics. They feel the burn and sweat. Whoever fills up the bottles first with sweat gets to move on to round two. First dude fills up the bottle. So does Sumo Boy. And these guys. Round two, the five semifinalists do the sauna thing. You ain't gonna see this on no beauty pageant. They gotta put out these candles with their sweat. Drip, drip. The 
first three guys to put out the candles move on to round three. Sumo Boy is first. This guy is second. And this dude's third. Ladies and gentlemen, our three semi-finalists. Next, the swimsuit competition. Round three, really hot soup. Water, kiddie pool. Their sweat drips down a pipe and collects in a beaker. Whoever sweats the most within the time limit wins. A little jogging, a little sweating. Sumo Boy has a different strategy. He just hangs out, eats his soup, and sweats. Yeah, shovel that sweat into the hole. Something's going on with Sumo Boy. Okay, here we go, he's thinking. Limber up, get going. Oh my God, that guy's thin and he's running hard. Ah, oh, he's trim, forget it. I could sweat better the other way. And besides, I have more surface area. I should beat these dudes easily. The beakers are placed side by side for careful analysis. And the winner is... This dude! After sweating so much, he grew a hedge around his head. And his kid's like, Dad, you're sweaty. Still want to go to Japan? Nuh-uh. Number two on our max X list of International Edition. I warned you about India. Want some more? Okay. We're about 250 miles south of New Delhi. This is the temple of Karni Mata, a woman of divine power. Our max X man in India is Krishnendu Bose, who's a cool dude. I'm going to take you somewhere which is going to blow your socks off. Come on, come on. We are in the inner sanctum of this sacred rat temple. The worshippers of this temple believe that the sacred ancestors, when they die, they become the rats here. And when the rats die, they become human beings. That's a whole lot of holy rats. Nobody has really counted, but uh, I mean, I was asking the uh, head priest here, but he won't commit. He won't say how many rats are there, but there are definitely many, many rats here. And they make your socks stick to the floor. Yeah, it's clean, but sometimes it sticks. It sticks real bad and it smells. I got. Oh, <laughs> Don't ask me now. I'm all. Oh, that was really crawly stuff, man. <laughs> oh, he says that you're scared of that. I said it's not a matter of being scared, it's just a matter of not being used to it. We think it's a matter of being creeped out. You see this um, metallic grill over the courtyard. This is basically to protect the holy rats from the birds of prey who, who might just swoop down and uh, get a couple of these rats. You're a worshipper. You don't want to hear, hey, a bird just ate my cousin. The devoted dudes hang out with the rats. They sleep with them and eat with them. They feed them with all kinds of uh, sweetmeats, grains, milk. And it's very, very auspicious if some rat scurries over you and goes over your shoulder or toes or body. It's a beautiful sight. It's a very strange sight for the Western eye, definitely. Even for me, it's a very strange sight. But that's the way it is. It's the faith which is most important. And people really believe that rats are uh, some form of gods here. The rats eat real good. People believe that if the food's been walked on by rats, or if it's got rat saliva on it, it'll cure them of disease. Check out this rat. Yeah, he looks real healthy with that giant sore on his face. Uh, he's going to take the water, which is, uh, which is very auspicious, he says. So he says that uh, far from being sick, after drinking this water, it's, it's a kind of antibiotic. And if you have any diseases, if you have any problems, it kind of cleanses you. Uh, this is the daily quota of uh, milk for the rats here. Nice. What's that floating around in the milk? We're guessing it ain't Lucky Charms. He loves the milk. This is like breakfast time, cornflakes and milk. You can see the nuts and everything floating there. So if you're a rat in the temple of Karni Mata, you got it pretty good. Dude, you got it pretty good right where you are. So don't be heading off to India.
And the number one reason not to leave your house, leave your couch, or leave your country, really bad TV. This is from the North Pole. And it ain't got no Santa or no elves. It's from Inuit Broadcasting, the northernest TV station in the world. It's Super Shamu. Hey, Tommy, look at that old boat. Let's check it out. Super Shamu's an Inuit superhero. We got us some juvenile offenders, Inuit style. Let's take a look at that expression slower and closer. Our star clearly has a mischievous glint in his eye, trying to lead his friend down a self-destructive path of shame and humiliation. Let's take it for a cruise. We'll just go along the beach. Okay. We think this story's about safe boating. Hey, the boat's going to sink. Look, it's flooding. Uh-oh, trouble. But Super Shamu, who's hanging out in his tent in the tundra, has psychic powers, and he comes to the rescue. It's Super Shamu, faster than the guy on speed in front of a blue screen. He saves the little buggers and gives them a talking to the likes of which they've never heard before. Where's your life jackets? We see in this instant that Super Shamu has cut to the quick with his profound question, sending our star souls shivering into the dark night of self-discovery. Let this be a lesson to you. Another thing, if you are going to boating, you should be in the company of an older person. Who is that? Super Shamu. That's some fine TV. But not so fine you'd want to leave your house and go to the North Pole to see it. So, what have we learned? There's a big world out there. Yeah, but so what? You got your gas-guzzling car, you got your right to bear arms, and you got your God-given suspicion of foreigners. That's it for the world. You can have it. There just ain't no place like home. Max X, we're out. They're the real-life heroes who put their lives on the line every time they go to work. Join the men and women sworn to serve and protect next on KVOX.